And now, back to the Radio Shopping Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today we are joined with the Love Revival Church. We have got uh, Raul and Elizabeth joining us today and a husband and wife team, right? If I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. That would have been so <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> For 30 years. Yeah. Nice, nice. There's, you know, uh, my husband and I are we're going to be celebrating 25 this year. And isn't it hard yeah. to believe how fast time flies? It, it does. sure does. It, it flies so much that I told her, honey, the whole year we're celebrating our 30-year anniversary. There you go. I'm using that on him this year as well. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, whether he likes it or not, right? Uh, well, um, the one thing that's all about, and probably you're, it shows why you're such a good staple and, and lead into what we're going to be talking about, because you've got, and you're part of the Love Revival Church, you're the pastor, uh, yes. and um, Love Revival Church, we were talking about, has been around several decades now, and uh, you've got an event that's going to be coming up this weekend that is called Hope Outside the Walls. And um, hope is such a, uh, I don't want to say a general word, it's such a well it's a defined word, right? And so hope outside the walls would usually lead you to believe like, is there hope like outside of the church? Is there hope outside of every chaos that we have in life? Tell me a little bit about the event that's coming up this Saturday. It's interesting. Um, thank you, Leah, first of all, for our, the opportunity. Yes, sure. The word hope, it is. People have different definitions for hope, but it's really an expectation of good. Mm -hmm. An expectation that Tomorrow's going to be better than today. Next week is going to be better than this week. Next month is going to be better than next month. Hope keeps us strong. Hope keeps our, our, our faith um, full of life. Right. And, and that's what we're doing. We're taking this hope that mm, the church has kind of kept inside the four walls and everyone else, you know, fend for yourself. We're taking it outside the four walls. Mm -hmm. The following that, that we have of Jesus is go, go out. And that's the heart. The heart that we have is is to take this treasure that we have found and share it with people that are looking, but they don't know they're looking. Right. That are seeking a peace, but they're looking in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. They're looking to fulfill their, the needs of their heart, but they don't, know, they don't even know how. How could, how could you fill a black hole? You can't. Mm -hmm. The heart of man is eternal. Right. Only the hope, only the presence of God can do that. And that's what we're doing. We're taking hope outside the walls and meet the people where they're at. And so where I grew up, and, and, and I am uh, faith-based, I've got an evangelical background, um, we, that would be, we would consider that stewardship. You know, it's like part of your will as a Christian is being a steward and spreading the word. So you're taking that even a step further, and you're, you're kind of almost willing to put your hand out and welcome somebody into your community. That is correct. And we want to get our feet wet. We want to get our hands dirty. Yeah. We want the people to know that love is not just a concept that was spoken about in the 60s you know make love not war no love is a real person love is god and and he flows through us he wants to touch people through us you mm -hmm. cannot imagine when you hug someone that has not been hugged in a long time what that does to that person mm -hmm. so that's what we're doing we're we're bringing a free event yeah. it's going to be full of of, of, of children, full of, of, of surprises. Memories. I'll let my wife speak more about that. She's the one kind of like on that part. Uh-huh. Um, thank you, Leah. She's the hostess. So <laughs> she, we're, we're going to give her that, that hosted so stamp here. Yeah. It's for all families. It's even for churches that want to come. Um, a few churches are collaborating together to do this. This is our third year. And um, if you don't have anything to do, come out on Saturday, bring your family, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Um, we have um, some community resources available. Um, we have free back to school supplies, backpacks for the kids. We have um, free face painting, animal balloons. Um, we even have free haircuts as well. Getting and, ready for school. Yeah, Boy, and, that tells um, a lot. a health tent, they can take their health vitals as well. Um, and we have some groups, co community resources, like we have um, Administer Justice, who helps with legal I'm assistance. very familiar with him. I've had him in the studio. Yeah. Yep, and they're great. We have Centro de Información there mm -hmm. for people who need help. Mm -hmm. um, 
Ecker Behavioral Center is going to be there, Chicago Workers Coalition, Fox Valley Christian Action, and National Youth Advocate Program. So we have several things there as well to help the people also. It's quite interesting, just the variety of um, partners that you have that are going to be on site. A lot of that kind of leads into your hope and taking it outside yes. the walls. For people, um, uh, it, you know, I'm just thinking Administer of Justice or Centro de Information, yes. uh, all those people who need some assistance but might not know where to go, you're actually providing that yes. Uh, that open door to them and, yes. and, and that's what we do a, a lot of our church members have come from those situations right and yes. they don't know and we have to have found out how to help them and not just preach the word but make it tangible make it real make it for this era that we live in yes. and that's what we're doing outside the walls we're not only going to love on the people that love is going to be some tangible action right. that the people are going to be able to take with them once they leave. The, the worst thing is, is when you always find out after the fact that there are so many services that are at your, um, that are, that, that are there to help you, but you don't have an access to it. So you don't, you know about it, but you don't know where to begin. You know, so when an event like this coming up, if you've had something that needs to be addressed or you've got a family situation or you've got a, a law, um, uh, something to do with an attorney that you need some uh, guidance that way, yes. uh, there, that's what you'll be able to find on Saturday. Yes, even even sure. health. Last yes. year, somebody got cut right outside the, the event. Really? In and we have a, a, a doctor, a nurse. a nurse practitioner on yes. hand and they were able to assist them until the ambulance came. So to tell people a little bit about the background of Love Revival Church, presently you guys are meeting Sundays, here's your service time, and you said 12, 12 30. 30. And then where are you meeting right now? Where are you, where do you take residents? The church that we're renting from right now is New Life Community um, Church, and it's located at 1580 East Chicago Street. So 1580 East Chicago Street, right now, just right up the way here from us. And, mm -hmm. and, and Pastor Raul, uh, the reason I say that is because sometimes people that are listening to the program might have facilities that are available. So your, your goal would obviously probably to finally have a home and a brick yes. and mortar for the church, right? Yes. For sure. For sure, Leah. We, we are praying for that, and we're hoping this year we'll find one. I have to tell you, too, with, you know, uh, between 100 and 200 people as a member of your congregation, that's a pretty good sized church. So that says a lot for what it is that you are preaching and what you're sharing with people out there. Amen. Praise the Lord. I mean, the, the people are finding hope. And like I told you, we started as a Spanish church. Uh huh. But I had the grace I can speak both languages. I grew up learning English both at the same time. So we have ventured out to to preach it might be a little uncomfortable in the beginning, but you get used to it, hearing the message in Spanish and then in English, so I can go vice versa. So do you go repeat it back? I've always wondered that when you want to do it both ways. Do you repeat it back to back, the English version or Spanish version first, and then you follow have, it up with English? I'll have either her. Yeah, a person's up, um, beside him up on the pulpit. Like right. An, yeah. Like an example, Jesucristo te ama. Jesus loves you. Y él está aquí por ti. And he is here for you. Y él quiere visitarte este and he sábado. wants to visit you this Saturday. Trae la esperanza fuera de las paredes. hope outside the walls. Va a tocar tu vida. He's going to touch your y tu corazón jamás será igual venga para recibir el amor de Dios Amen <laughs> Dang That's how we do it on Sunday She's good She's I feel really like good. I just got cleansed That was like fantastic Ay, <laughs> Leah uh, <laughs> <laughs> But the, but the reason that I'm glad that you were able to and willing to share that because I think quite often it can um, direct some people away from it because they think, well, wait a minute, I, I can't handle when somebody puts it on the phone saying, you know, hit numero dos, you know, I, <laughs> and so some people have a hard problem yes. with that. But um, there's always something that comes through, through so passionately uh, from a pastor, as you, Raul, speaking in Spanish. And, it, you know, you, you speak with enforcement and compassion and love at the same time, wow. you know? Yeah. That's that's well, that's that's what grabs that's what grabs a person, uh, somebody in the audience. I'm gonna I have a phone call here, so I'm I'm not sure if this is meant for us here, but I do know that uh, Fred is actually a musician, so I'm gonna oh, see if I can Pastor bring him Fred. in the line. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Do you know him? Oh, of yeah. course, we played trumpet together too. <laughs> Did he? Oh, nice, nice. We just lost his call, but if you are calling in, Fred, definitely call back because I do know that he plays for a church. So I thought maybe if that was the case. Um, but um, so obviously musician, so you share your you share. Your your faith through the sound too yes, right yes ma'am yes. i've been playing trumpet since 12 years old i'm 56 you can do the math more than 40 years playing trumpet and that's 
That's my passion. My, he loves it. He my takes passion. it everywhere, everywhere we travel. Even to the Amazon jungles. He takes it with him. Yes. I take it. You're like the Pied Piper in the Amazon <laughs> yeah. with the trumpet. And you're he not kidding it. with that. I, I, they, they attra- animals will be attracted to music, yeah. yeah. I, I tell you, when we went to Ghana one time to do a, a, a crusade, I said, well, I know how we market it in the States, but how do you do it here? Blow the trumpet. I said, what do you mean blow the trumpet? Uh, we'll put the microphone yeah. and you'll blow the trumpet and the people from the village starts coming. Yeah. Really? And I, oh, my hair is standing up because <laughs> they, came. they came. There was only one light in, 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 in that whole village and it was just a, a, a street light. And all of a sudden from darkness, you see the people coming. How powerful oh, is no, that, powerful. man? No kidding. <laughs> I'll just be like, the lion sleeps tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking it right now. Uh, um, anyway, so having you guys in studio, it's, it's a pleasure anyway. So if somebody wants to find out more information, if they want to come and check out the event, Hope Outside the Walls, again, it's going to be the 12th. That's this week, Saturday. It's running from 1 until 6? Yes. yes. Okay. Do they need to bring anything if they want to speak with, you know, some of the organizations that you have, if they want to get a haircut? Are those all things that are zero cost? No, is that provided? Free. That's all free it's of all charge. Free. Just come. Just come. Just All you come. have to do is bring yourselves. The nice thing, though, too, is from what you've said with the um, uh, events that you're going to have there and activities, it certainly is meant to be a family event. Yes. It definitely. is definitely right? a family yeah. event. Bring your kids, bring your family. They're going to be games. FVCA is going to have games. They're going to have games. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we want it to be a family event. Yes. And the dramas that the, yeah. the youth are doing, they're going to touch your heart. Yeah. Well, oh, well, so they're going to be performing. Yes. 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 They'll be performing, and, and who doesn't like to see a drama, right. a, a, a play? It's, it's yeah. going to be very impactful mm-hmm. for the people. And there'll be live music, too. We'll do praise and worship She leads well. the, the, the praise and worship. She sings. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. she's the, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, all trade, she's got it counted there. So you blow your trumpet, and she can sing, and we, we've, go. got the, yeah, we've got the jungle taken care of. So back to school supplies, all happening again. That's going to be this Saturday. They'll have face painting there. They'll have balloon animals. Again, you just mentioned the live dramas music and so much more brought to you yes. by love revival church again we want to say thanks to pastor raul and uh, miss shirley thank you so much for joining us thank you so much for having us do you do other events throughout the year just so we can give a sneak peek or is this the one big this is meant to be the um the getting the word out about the church we do smaller ones but this is the big main event okay and again the address of where they're going to be where it's going to be taking place it's going to be in festival park yep and it sounds like the weather's going to be lovely for you, too. Yes. You bet. 132. La- last year we did it, and it was 67 degrees. Oh, wow. But we still did it. But this year's going to be much warmer. 67, I can take as long as there's no rain. Because when you've got that many vendors and you've got, you know, tents and everything set up. And again, from 1 to 6. And, folks, there's plenty of places. Even if you just come up the street a little bit, there's free parking up this yes. way. So there's really no reason. You've got the ramp right across from Festival Park there as well. Correct. Um, if somebody wants to find out a little bit more about your church, do you guys have a website or is a way, a place you can direct them to learn a little bit yes, more um, about uh, Love Revival? Our website is loverevivalchurch.org. Okay. And we're also on Facebook as Love Revival Church Elgin. And Elgin. And Elgin. Thank you guys so thank much you. for joining thank me. Thank you so much. Thank All you. right, we're going to take a real quick commercial break, and uh, I want to say again, thanks. Hope Outside the Walls. That was Pastor Raul and Elizabeth. I think I said Shirley before. I'm sorry. So Elizabeth uh, joining us in the studio today. Again, their church is located at 1580 East Chicago Street. And again, Pastor Raul and Elizabeth. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for joining us. I just got thank thrown you. off by the jungle there for a little bit. All right, uh, we're going to be back with more radio shopping show on our Wednesday edition. The time, it's 4.38.